I want you to keep in mind that the main goal of marriage is not our happiness, but rather the glory of God. Our marriage is a picture of his bride, of Christ and his bride. That is our marriage. So the, the, the sole purpose of marriage is not your happiness. If you are married, my sister, hmm? if you are married, I want to tell you, it's not because you are the most beautiful one. It's not because you are the most behaved one. It's not because you are the most blessed one. No. It's because God has a purpose that he wants to fulfill in that man's life. So he's connecting you to that man so that together you can fulfill the purposes of God for this generation. One new thing that I've learned is uh, the point where Dr. Moelo said um, marriage is a double-edged sword. Uh, it can be a, uh, it can be a curse, it can also be a blessing. Uh, of course we know that from the Bible, we know that God meant it for, for it to be a blessing to us. But uh, once we mismanage it or like we pick wrong partners because we want to jump around, you marry when you're not ready, you end up um, having uh, a wrong person at the end of the day and no wonder we have some high rates of uh, divorce here and there. So at the end of the day we find that marriage feels like it's a curse and other people start, will be afraid to get married. They'll be like, I'd rather stay single because they've seen a bad side of marriage from other people when actually it's supposed to be a good thing. So if you're not careful, yeah, it may end up being a curse on you. Yeah. For as long as you do not, you are not married to the right person, let me tell you something. Marriage is a double-edged sword. That's what I call it. It can be a blessing and it can also be a curse. Marriage can break you. Marriage can destroy you. Marriage can destroy your destiny. Marriage can destroy your future. You know, before um, before I got married to a beautiful woman, um, we used to go out a lot. We used to have those dates, dinners and all. And um, we've been married for, this will be my fifth year. And uh, God has blessed us with uh, two beautiful children, a daughter and a son. Um, and before then, you know, the Bible also says that uh, a woman adds value to our lives. So. Um, as soon as I got married, you know, I saw promotion here and there at work, and I find that at the moment I'm more busy with work than before, back then, and then with the coming with our children and all. So at the end of the day, you find that maybe you are maybe exhausted with work, and at home kids are jumping around on you, you, you have to create time for them. At the end of the day, sometimes you end up neglecting those moments. Uh, if you used to go out with your wife once a week, now you end up going once in three months. So those are some of the things that I feel they are neglected because my wife is also busy also. So we have to find time when we can find some spare time just to ourselves and reignite those moments. Yeah. Otherwise, God is not going to yoke us with the weaker. He doesn't do that. It's unfair for a human being to get a, 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 a bigger cow and a small cow, a very little cow, and you put them in the same yoke. Because the other one is too powerful. You only yoke cows that are of the similar strength, that they can work together. So when God yokes you together, it's because God knows that the woman has got the strength that you don't have, and the man has got the strength that the woman does not have. So the combination of the strength of the woman and the strength of the man makes the impact that God wants you to have in your life. I was hoping the whole world was listening. Uh, you know, I've learned so much, so much. Uh, the knowledge I've gotten here, if it was a course, it would, even, it would even last maybe for a week. You are just learning that. But I've compacted it, it's so well compacted in the hours we've had. And um, I pray that next time people should um, should be here. People should, a lot of people, I'd like a lot of marriages to come through because you have seen a high rate of uh, marriages. I was seeing the statistics last year for 2021, divorce rates. Uh, I remember Eastern was stopping, followed by Lusaka. The numbers were so alarming. Uh, 
I pray that a lot of people could find time to be counseled because here yeah, we are being counseled, we are being encouraged, we are being shown direction. We have a lot to learn, especially the young ones, because we are being taught by people who have experienced in this, who have gone ahead of us. So those of us who, who love our partners, if you love your wife, if you say you love your um, your husband, spare some time and come and learn so that you can mend your relationship, mend your marriage, and those who are courting also, come and learn some things that you need to learn or know before you actually step into marriage.